Man, what is going on, guys? I'm back with another episode of a TV movie podcast. And today I got for you a movie review. Man, as you guys know, I've already seen this movie, Deadpool and Wolverine, two months ago. I gave you guys my initial reactions, but I watched this movie a second time, guys, because I loved it the first time. And I, of course, I got to watch it again to see if it hit. And it still hit, obviously. It's one of my favorite movies that dropped this year. But I think my rating did change. I'm not going to lie. I think I gave it a 9 the first time I, I reviewed this. It has changed. And let's just get into it, man. Yeah, it changed. So, yeah, as you know, I recently watched, rewatched Deadpool and Wolverine. And I still find this film very amazing. However, there are aspects worth discussing. Overall, I enjoyed the experience the second time, and I can see myself revisiting it again for the third time. Though, I probably won't do it right away. I'm going to let it breathe for a second, you know, man. Can't be watching the movie over and over again. But while this movie is excellent, I don't consider it the best MCU installment, as some might suggest. As a standalone film, it does shine, though. But its plot, it holds it back. I was expecting a more dramatic explanation for the X-Men demise in Wolverine's universe. The notion that a group of humans could easily eliminate such a powerful team felt lazy and lacking and not realistic. The plot's weakness was evident. Many Marvel movies focus on solving significant issues and problems, but this film leaned more toward action and comedy with an abundance of cameos. Speaking of which, the cameos were well executed. Channing Tatum as Gambit was a highlight in this movie for me. His enthusiasm for the role really showed, and I think he'd be great in a solo project. Some might argue not, but I'd argue yes. Wesley Snipes reprising his role as Blade was also a nice surprise. As for Elektra, her cameo didn't resonate with me as much. I'm not very familiar with her character. However, seeing X-23 return was such a great it was such a great experience because we know how impactful she was in the movie Logan and seeing her grow up was cool to see as well. She was only 10 or 11 in that in the Logan, so seeing her all grown up was cool. While I wouldn't rank this movie my top 5 MCU films, it certainly makes my top 5 standalone superhero movies just because of the pure entertainment, bro. This movie, you can't get bored watching this movie at all but speaking of which of my top five mcu movies let's list them right now no way home gotta be number one then you got civil war number two bro number three infinity war come on that fourth obviously is endgame the fifth is winter soldier i think that's a top, solid top five you can't go wrong with that but as for deadpool and wolverine i think it ranks highly among the x-men movies but I still need to watch more of the X-Men movies to really form a complete list. So stay tuned for my X-Men movie reviews. And I'll give you a top five list soon. But I'm not usually a fan of Deadpool movies, surprisingly. You know, in this movie, the fourth wall breaks a lot. And it can feel kind of like lame and intrusive, in my opinion. I don't like being reminded that I'm watching a movie. So, yeah. But many of Deadpool's jokes and references... It's funny, but like, it's kind of OD, but what really got me was Wolverine's storyline. It was super captivating. He gave a great performance, and we saw a lot in this movie with him dealing with his personal issues, man. And the violence in this movie was obviously amazing with the car. The car fight was probably one of the best fights, him going against Deadpool, and they went to town on each other. That was phenomenal, and yeah, bro, and obviously... You, you Wolverine fans are going to love when Logan puts his mask on for the first time. It took us a long time to get here, but we finally got here. In conclusion, after sec watching this movie for a second time, you know, this film lacked in plot. And its main focus was not the plot, but was to serve as a nostalgia for, you know, fans of the old X-Men movies especially through its appearances with cameos and for that i gotta give this movie an 8.5 out of 10 you know i think i gave it a 9 but i was just 
I was just living, you know, in the moment of the high of watching this incredible movie, and I gave it a nine. I think I might have given it a ten, actually, but you know, I gotta actually d dive deep and see what the movie did right and wrong. And you know, overall, it did a lot of things right, but there were still little issues there and it was an 8.5 out of 10 for me guys let me know what you guys thought about this movie comment down below how many times you saw this movie yeah and should i watch it again and maybe my rating would change you know what let's give it a few more months and maybe we'll do that again but overall enjoyed this movie go see it deadpool wolverine all right guys i'm seeing the next movie review bless up peace